Hi, this is Janice Skyshy Travels with the Skyshy Travel Guide Live. And I am the host. And our guest for today is Randall Wilk Wilkerson. Randall Wilkerson. Hi, Randall. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. It's great to have you. Um, so introduce yourself to our viewers today. Right. Uh, hi, my name is Randall Wilkerson. I am 24 years old and currently living in Boston, Massachusetts. I am a middle school English teacher. Next year I'll be in my second year, or this year, it's coming up in a few days. Um, I came to Boston, Massachusetts originally for my master's degree, and for undergrad I went to Wesleyan University. I'm originally from the Beverly Morgan Park area of the south side of Chicago. Okay. Thank you for that great introduction. And Randall um, is also a, I guess, a former participant in the Beverly, Beverly Language French and Spanish camp that I had years ago. And she originally learned uh, to speak French there in the summer camp. And I think it's uh, interesting that now she is a English teacher. So uh, languages are definitely uh, Randall's thing. Would, <laughs> would you say not, Randall? Yeah, it definitely grew to be my thing over time. Um, I think I struggled for a while in school itself. But once I was able to explore more, I really gained an interest in, in language, in other languages I've always enjoyed English and reading and writing. Um, so I would say, yeah, I definitely have a passion. I consider myself a bit of a Francophile. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So tell people about your, your language journey. Uh, well, as you said, my first encounter with French was at a very young age in, in the program that you started. And at the time, I really, I really thought French was cool. I was learning Spanish in class. Um, and I remember one of the songs that we actually learned in that French class to this day. Um, so that was my encounter with French. I was about six or seven years old. I was pretty young until middle school and high school. I had difficulty with French in classes because I felt a lot of pressure about um, performing. I didn't want to speak out loud in case I got something wrong or it didn't go as well as planned. And it wasn't really until college when I practiced the language with a friend that the seed that you could say was planted a long time ago really started to bloom and grow. Um, so once I was able to explore at my own pace with someone speaking at my level, I really learned to love the language and become more interested in, in traveling to a francophone country. Wonderful. 